Hey, what is going on football fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and also hit the like button on this video. All right, so uh, we continue in the SEC and with this video today, we will be breaking down and predicting the Arkansas Razorbacks. All right, so uh, this is an Arkansas team that's uh, kind of down right now. So they went four and eight and uh, last year, last couple years for Arkansas have not been that good, especially uh, when you look at the season that they had in 2021, where they went nine and four, and since then they've just been on a downslide. And uh, they did bring back Sam Pittman for another year, but I just don't know. Um, and they also bring back Bobby Petrino, who used to be the head coach at Arkansas. He's the offensive coordinator now, uh, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Just like what Jimbo Fisher did with Texas A&M. And so this is an offense that struggled last year. They were almost dead last in the in the SEC last year in all categories offensively. And so, and it certainly doesn't help when you uh, lose your dual threat quarterback in KJ Jefferson. He has transferred out to uh, Central Florida. And so uh, they also they also lost AJ Green. Uh, they did bring back Andrew Armstrong as well as Isaac Tesla and also Luke Has. So we'll see what happens. As far as the quarterback, uh, they will be turning to Taylor Green, who transfers in from Boise State. And so I just don't know. Uh, considering the shape that Arkansas is in right now, I just don't know if it's going to be. I just have a feeling this year is going to be pretty rough for the Hogs. So, But you never know what can happen. That's why you play the games. So uh, here's a look at Arkansas's schedule. So they open up <clears throat> on a Thursday night against Pine Bluff. And I do think that's going to be a win there. But they, go, they have a tough one right after that. They go on the road to Oklahoma State, an Oklahoma State team that I think will be contenders in the Big 12 this year. And I have this as a loss for Arkansas. Back home against UAB uh, could be a close game, but I don't think that UAB uh, – I don't think they'll be able to beat Arkansas in this one. So now they start SEC play, and then they go on the road to Auburn. I think that's going to be a loss as well. So um, Auburn, you know, they're still trying to get some things figured out with Hugh Freeze, but this game is on the road, and I just don't, I just don't see a way for Arkansas to win this game. Um, then they go to Dallas to take on uh, Texas A&M at AT&T Stadium. And a and I think they will be contenders in the SEC, despite having a first-year head coach. And I think that's going to be a loss as well. Uh, they Then they're back home against Tennessee. I think that's going to be a loss as well. Uh, this game could be close, though. Uh, this game could be a trap game uh, for Tennessee. You never know. But I have this as a loss for the Hogs. And then after the first bye week, uh, they're at home again against rival LSU. And despite the fact LSU, they lost a lot from last year. And I think they'll take a step back. But I don't think that they'll have any problems in this game, uh, talking about LSU. So looking at the rest of the schedule, uh, they go on the road to Mississippi State. And I think if, if Arkansas is going to win a conference game this year, this will be their best opportunity to do it. Mississippi State, they're in a rebuilding phase with Jeff Levy. And it'll be interesting to see how he'll do there. But this game is on the road and a former SEC West opponent. And so, unfortunately, I have that as a loss. And I think the same can be said for the following week against Ole Miss, even though it is at home. Uh, Ole Miss, uh, their offense is just too good. And I just don't think Arkansas's defense can keep up with that. And so after the second bye week, uh, they have two games at home before they end the season on the road, the first of which is against Texas. Uh, I think that's going to be a loss for the Razorbacks as well. Texas, I, I, I expect them to reload like they, like they have been, and I expect them uh, in their first year in the SEC to have a very good year. And then you have your home finale against Louisiana Tech. I, did, I will give them a win there. Um, Louisiana Tech, they're not all that great. And so... And, you know, this is just, you just need a win, you know, just for morale. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, uh, against rival Missouri on the road to close out the season, I think that's going to be a loss. And unfortunately, uh, I have Arkansas going 3-9 and nine this year, and I have them going winless in SEC play. And, and if this 
record indeed does happen, there's no way that Sam Pittman comes back for another year with Arkansas. So that's my picks and predictions for the Razorbacks for the 2024 season. Uh, guys, leave your thoughts down below. How do you think Arkansas will do this year? Will they surprise uh, some people? So you never know. Uh, leave it down below in the comments section. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.